joining us. Welcome to our Crow's nine minute training at 9 a.m. My name is Sam and we have Brian with us today. He'll walk us through what it looks like to request time off as an employee and also what it will look like to the manager on their end. We'll not be able to answer any questions live, but feel free to leave them in the chat and we'll follow you after the presentation. Brian, I will give it over to you. Thanks so much, Sam. First thing we want to do is we're going to navigate to the employee's homepage and then ho head over to the time off screen right here on the right hand side. Here you will see the next scheduled day off, which will either be the next day requested off by any given employee or the next company holiday, whichever may be coming first. And you will also see your available time off balance right here. We will be going into the view time off right here. So go ahead and click on the view time off button. And once you click on this, it will take you to the time request off portal. From here, you will see six tabs across the top of your screen. And these are time off summary, time off detail, time off request, holidays and blackout dates, system emails, and the calendar. The time off summary will show a summary of all transactions that have occurred for the given employee. The time off detail shows transactions in a list form, and the time off request is where your employees will go to process a day off. Holidays and blackouts is where the employees will go to see what days are blacked out or what holidays are coming up. The next tab over system emails will show any and all emails that have been sent from the system regarding time off requests. And the final tab for the calendar will show the upcoming week or month, whichever you select of any given manager or employee or whatever filter you wish to apply to see if any other employees have requested any specific dates off that you may want to request. So where we will be navigating to is the time off request tab here. And this is where an employee will process a request off. So for this employee, we will be processing a request off for let's say January 26th today and you'll click on the date that you wish to add. Once you're ready to add, you click Add Selected Dates, which will then populate field three below with the date that's requested. You'll notice that it auto-populates with the units of eight, which is how many hours are requested off. You do have the ability to edit this, so if you wanted to only take like a half day, you'd put in four hours. But for this instance, we'll leave it at eight, and then it gives you a drop-down selection to select what type of time off you wish to use. For this purpose, we'll use PTO, and then any type of comment you wish to add for, let's say, a vacation. Once you're complete and ready to add, you'll go ahead and hit Submit Request. If you noticed prior, when we had the Holidays and Blackouts tab, we did have a blackout date listed for January 30th. So if an employee goes to request the day that is a blackout date, the system will not allow you to add that day. It doesn't enable the yellow highlight. And that's it. Once you've added this date, that's how you request a time off as the employee. So what does it look like from the manager side? Well, once the employee hits submit requests, it sends an email from the system to the manager to notify them that there is a pending request that needs approval or denial. So from the manager's perspective, this is the home page. You will now see the same time off tabs here. However, under time off requests here in the middle, there's one pending request. So we go ahead and click on the time off request, which will take you straight to the time off approval tab. Here you will see that employee's pending request. So Peter Pan has requested January 26th off for PTO, the status is pending. What type of units are they using? Is it a full day, half day? What their current balance is? And if there was any comments here. It also gives the manager a quick link to the holidays and blackout dates so they can compare and contrast the request to any days that may be blacked out. It also gives the manager a quick access to the calendar so they can see what other employees they may have that have requested off that date. Once again, same view as the prior week, month, and you can apply any given filters here. And then finally, the manager also has the employee management tab where they can come in here and select the, the employee that played the request, see any of their given time off summary, their time off detail if they have other PTO um, pending transactions, and also gives you access to the time off forecast. So this, you can select the employee that made the request. You can calculate time off forecast here. 
once this calculates, it will show you the accrual date and any given balances or future balances that they may be on track to accrue on time for that specific requested day off. So in this instance, for the 26th, they do have a balance of 40. They're trying to take eight, so that will leave them with 32, so they're good to go. So next, we'll navigate back to the time off approval tab where you come over here to the far right and check this checkbox to indicate that specific time off request. And under the actions drop down menu here, you will select either approve or deny. If you're going to deny the employee's request, it does give you a field to populate where you can give a reason as to why not. If you're going to approve, it does not. It just says, yes, you can approve it and it'll send off from there. So for this purpose, we will approve are you sure? Oh, checkbox approve. Are you sure you want to approve? Yes. This will then disappear. The employee will then get a follow up email from their side saying that your time off request has been approved or denied. If we navigate back to their employee's home profile and go to their next scheduled day off, now shows the 26th as it's been approved. You can also go into their view time off. And look at their time off detail here, 126 PTO has been granted for eight hours, it has been approved. That's how to request and approve or deny a day off. Thanks so much for your time and back to you, Sam. Thank you so much for being with us today, Brian. We appreciate everyone's attendance. We'll also send out a follow-up survey. And if you typed a question into the chat, we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And we look forward to seeing you on the next Night at Nine.